the next concept in this fluid dynamics is viscosity so how can we understand the viscosity take two containers fill with this uh, one is filled with water i am writing this one water another same dimensions of the container but it is filled with glycerin or honey or honey two lead shots which are dropped simultaneously to water and this glycerin which are at two different containers the lead shot which was dropped into water moves quickly to the bottom part but the lead shot which was dropped to the glycerin or honey moves slowly 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 and touches the bottom when compared to the motion of the lead shot in water this lead shot will take more time to reach the bottom both are liquids only but why the lead shot in the glycerin is taking more time to reach the bottom when compared to the lead shot in the water because this glycerin or honey are more viscous than water so what we can understand from this property so viscous t is a force or it is a viscous force it is a property of the fluid by virtue of it opposes the relative motion between the layers of the fluid this is called viscosity so it is the property of a fluid by virtue of it opposes the relative motion of the layers of the fluid is called viscosity the force which is required to exhibit the property of viscosity is called viscous force the another way to understand this viscous force is not only to drop the lead shots in the two vessels suppose take a funnel or take any funnel like this uh, funnel which will be in a shape of like this let us suppose suppose if i dropped water in it this water can reach the bottom under the action of its weight very easily but if i dropped any honey the honey will take more time to reach the bottom again the same example nothing but the viscosity now we will see the expression of viscosity so the expression of viscosity let us take a surface on the surface some fluid is flowing from one end to the another end try to assume this fluid contains n number of elements nothing but the layers so this is the surface on the surface one liquid was poured if you see the top layer is at uh, travel to the long distance the next layer is back of it next layer is back of the two the next layer is back of the three the next layer is back of the four like that means there is a gap between it means uh, all the layers are not moving to the equal distances are not moving with the equal velocities when they poured on the horizontal surface in this case we are neglecting the frictional force 
we are not calculating the frictional force still one layer is proceeding further but the another layer very next adjacent layer is not proceeding that much further it is simply a slide of it what is the reason one layer wants to move further the internal tangential forces acting between the layers of the fluid keeping the next layer backwards so that's why if it is moving with the velocity v the top layer is moving with velocity v plus dv if the layer the third one or second one has traveled a distance x the topmost layer of it is traveling the distance x plus dx in the definition we have discussed that viscosity is a property of the fluid by virtue to oppose its relative motion between the layers relative motion means if the top layer wants to move forward but the back the next layer or the adjacent layer keeping the top layer into the backward direction means dragging to the backward direction so one wants to move forward the next adjacent is keeping to backward that is to be the relative motion between the layers so now there is a force acting between these two layers this force is called tangential force in other words it is said to be tangential viscous force this tangential viscous force is directly proportional to the change in the velocity between adjacent layers between adjacent layers and directly proportional to the change in the distance between the adjacent layers but it is a negative gradient of velocity because one is moving to forward the next adjacent layer is moving backward so f is proportional to minus dv and proportional to 1 by dx so f is proportional to minus dv by dx if i remove this one f is equal to eta into dv by dx so therefore the viscous force is directly proportional to the dv inversely proportional to the dx proportional to the area of the adjacent layers also therefore f is proportional to a into dv by dx this dv by dx we can say as velocity gradient also so if i remove the proportionality constant i am replacing with eta therefore eta a into dv by dx so what is this eta eta is coefficient of viscosity so if you want to find the definition equation for the eta therefore eta is equal to f by a into dv by dx so coefficient of viscosity is defined as it is the one unit of force acting between the unit surface area of the two adjacent layers which are moving with one unit velocity gradient it is a unit force acting between two adjacent layers which are moving with one unit 
velocity gradient. If suppose f is equal to 1 newton, area is equal to 1 meter square, dv by dx is equal to 1 meter per second per meter, that is nothing but 1 meter square per second, then eta is equal to 1 poise. This poise is the SI unit of coefficient of viscosity. So poise is defined as if a 1 Newton of force acting between one area, 1 meter square area of the two adjacent layers which are moving with 1 meter square per second velocity gradient. If a Newton force acting between two adjacent layers of cross section 1 meter square which are moving with 1 meter square per second velocity gradient then it is called one poise. So its symbol is PAS. So poise is the SI unit of coefficient of viscosity. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.